This is the second part of the talk that I realized with uh, Aurelien and also other members of the survival work, working group, in, in particular the Lyon team. So I'm going to concentrate now on some um, uh, computational aspects of mixed effect modeling. So in, in some aspect, you, you might say it's not really important. I mean, if you forget all about my presentation, you will still, still be able to use MEXAS or any other kind of uh, uh, model for uh, well mixed effect shared frailty model mixed effect survival models, but on the other mm -hmm. hand, if you can grasp some of the concept, it's I don't think it's difficult. It's complex. You have a lot of uh, notations, and but it's not really difficult. So if you can understand some of this, uh, maybe you can understand, for example, some of the options that you have when you use Mexas or even when you use not. Um, not only for frailty, for mixed effect survival models, but also other kinds of mixed models. If you use, for example, SAS, you have NL mix procedure, Glee mix procedures, and you have some options. And usually, you don't touch the options. But if you understand a little bit what these options mean, the number of quadrature points, Laplace approximations, all these kind of thing. If you understand a little bit, may, maybe you will be able to um, um, uh, take advantage of your knowledge to fit better models, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. So up until now, we've we. we